Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a full face get ready with me trying out new makeup. I have the new Makeup Forever Concealer. I have a couple new powders, one from Viteri, one from Hourglass. Speaking of Hourglass, I have their new powder as well as mascara. I have another mascara. I have some things from Nabla, both for the eyes and the face. I have here the new Maddie Ziegler palette, that is what I have on my eyes, as well as some things from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics, the Infinity Glam palette, Pat McGrath, Sigma, there's just a little bit of everything going on today, and I am excited to share it with you, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I do not currently <laughs> have a new foundation. I have one on the way, which is from Tom Ford, but I wanna do a full day wear test. I wanna wear it a couple times before I do the wear test and the review so that I can give you guys an actual review instead of a get ready with me trying new makeup. Plus, I've got a new concealer and a powder, and when I have those things, I think it's better to wear something underneath it that you already know how it performs so you can truly test out the concealer and the powder. So the foundation that I am wearing is from Le Mer, and this is the Soft Fluid, and I'm wearing the shade number 13, which is pretty much a dead-on match for my face and my neck. However, the rest of my body is much darker, but it's okay long sleeves, and I'm gonna bronze this face up. Let's go ahead and get into the concealer, which again is new. It's from Makeup Forever, and it is the Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour High Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This is huge, by the way, and uh, it has nine mils of product, and I put this on my hand last night, and there's a, there's a slight smell to it. It reminds me of something, but I can't, can't quite figure it out. I probably put too much on. I really probably did. But this is extremely matte. I don't know if my hands are dry or if this is the mattest concealer I've ever swatched, but it's matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm taking my sponge and I am going to blend this out. It looks like I picked out a good shade. and it's blending out very easily. The coverage on this is very nice. It's very smooth underneath my eyes. We'll see after <laughs> I set it if it looks really dry or not, but it doesn't right now. It is creasing just a little bit right underneath where like my little fine lines are, but I mean, that's pretty typical. It's gonna blend it out, but the coverage is really nice. I wouldn't say that it's absolutely full. I probably if you put another layer, but I can see my little freckle just a little bit through this. I don't wanna add another layer though because I don't like that much underneath my eyes. Now I'm gonna go in with a new powder. This was sent to me from By Terry and it's the Hyaluronic Pressed Hydra Powder. And I have loved the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder for a long time, but now it comes in this beautiful compact. It has a little applicator in here. I'm not gonna use this to apply it. I like to keep these to dab away any excess oil and stuff like that. But this is what it looks like. It is translucent. See, and I'm gonna have to use this to set underneath my eyes and my entire face. I'm gonna use my Wayne Goss The Artist Small. Just pick up a little bit of product and then press this underneath the eyes. I love this brush, it gets right in here. La Mer, the powder brush, and again, I'm just gonna pick up product and start placing this on the skin. Trying to press it. Before I move on to bronzer, I have to put something on my lips. So I'm taking my Tatcha Lip Kissu Mask. I just have to have my lips moisturized. I can't stand for them to feel dry. I'm really excited about these. I wanted to do just a whole Nabla video, but like I said, I'm playing catch up right now. I am playing catch up, but these look really beautiful. These are the Skin Bronzing Sun Kissed Effect Bronzing Powders, and I have all four. I am going to swatch them for you really quickly, and then I'll tell you which one I'm going to use. Let me try and get them out of this packaging really quickly. Here is Ambra. Get a good swatch here. 
you guys can see that one. This looks more on the like neutral side. And then we have Dune, this beauty right here. Swatch it. Oh, definitely darker than, this is still pretty neutral. I looked at that and I thought it was gonna be warmer than what that is. This might be the one that I use. And then we have Soft Revenge, this one here. And then look how deep this one is. Like, ah, oh, that's so nice to see. This is, this was not a good name for this. This was not a good name. Um, this is a profile. Uh, maybe it's just me, but I just, I don't think that was the best name choice for that shade. But anywho, here are all of them. And they definitely all seem to be more neutral to cool. I have a little bit of warmth there, but mainly more on the neutral side, which is much appreciated. I'm going to use this one right here called Dune. I like to go in with a slightly denser brush for this type of formula. So I'm taking my Royal and Lang Nickel BOM 34. And again, the shade Dune. And then I am lightly going to apply this and build as needed. Sometimes they can look a little bit more neutral, but then when they go on the skin, they still have either they, they're too gray or they're too warm. And this really is pretty darn neutral. And it's skin-like. It's not matte, but it's not like radiant as in like shimmery or anything like that. I'm telling you, this formula is the bomb. I love the skin glazing, like the highlights. And then I have a few that are a little bit darker that I use just like as blush toppers for this part of my face, like a little bit backward. And I think that they are so pretty. I'm getting hair all in my brush. <sighs> for my nose, I'm gonna go in with one of these brushes, which is from my really good friend, Glitzy Fritzy Mary and her collaboration with Sigma. I don't think that these are in stock right now. I purchased mine as soon as they came out and I think it's gonna be restocked at the end of the month. I could be wrong. I'm gonna leave the link down below and I'll definitely let you guys know whenever it comes back up because I adore her and she deserves all the support in the world. Look at that pretty face on this box. I'm keeping this box just because I love this picture so much. In here we have one, two, three, four, five brushes and I've used these already but I've washed them now and I'm gonna use them on camera. I don't have a lot of Sigma brushes, so I don't know, like, I just don't know a lot about them, but I have the E25 blending. This one right here, which is kind of reminiscent of the MAC 217, if you remember that brush. And then the tapered blending a <laughs> E35, this one right here. And then we have the one that I am actually going to be using on my nose. This is the E36, which is just a blending brush. This was a little small for me to use on my eyes just because I, I have a lot of lid space so I prefer something just a little bit bigger if I'm going to do work like on this outer corner or anything like that but I could use it underneath here. If you have smaller eyes or hooded eyes this is going to be a great brush to really get that detail work but I'm going to use it on the side of my nose but before I do I'm going to tell you the other two brushes that come in here. The E46 shader and it also says inner corner. I like this not only for inner corner brow arch, but I also like it for lips. And then the last one is the E55 eye shading brush. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the E36, my Nabla bronzer, and I'm going to go down the sides of my nose. This really pinpoints the product right where I need it. I like to blend right up in here because it will kind of make the nose and the eye, how it connects, it'll slim this part right here. I like to do that. And then I'm just gonna add back in my little freckle. This is the Ferocious Brow Pencil from The Bomb. What color are you? Light brown. I'm gonna move on to eyes and I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face afterwards. And I have a huge thank you to Calvin Brockington Artistry. You can find him on Instagram. I'm going to link him down below. He saw my purchaser pass, sent me a message. and was like, I hope you haven't bought this yet because I'm sending it to you. And 
Thank you so much. I'm I'm so excited. I'm so grateful. This is from Morphe. It is the Maddie Ziegler palette. Oh, I can't wait to use this. And I he also sent, oh, where's it at? The Maddie Ziegler Peach That Pops Lip and Cheek Duo. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use that in today's video. Like I said, I have a ton of stuff for the cheeks. But you know what? Actually, I'm going to do this real quick. In the duo, we have this guy right here, which is the Peach Out Cheek and Lip Mousse. This is my color. I'm going to do a little swatchy swatch really quickly. Oh, that feels nice. So if you blend it out, this is what it'll look like on my cheeks if I were to use it. But I'm not going to because I have other stuff to use today. But I'm going to put the lip gloss on. So I'm going to kind of wipe off what I have from the, the Tatcha. And just wear this while I am doing my eyes. Mmm. Very shiny. Juicy. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the palette. And let me show it to you guys first. This is the outside of the palette. I love this eye look that she has on. And then the inside, so colorful. This palette, just looking at it, just makes me so happy. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to play with some color. I almost want to try, <laughs> attempt to recreate this, but maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to look at this for a second. And then I will decide what I'm going to do and I'm going to zoom you guys in. And again, Calvin, this was so kind of you. It really means the world. Thank you so much. I'm going to start off with the shade Maddie Girl, bringing this right above the crease, just on this outer portion of the eye, like with the brow. Just want to add just a hint of color right here. And I'm using that E35. Sticking with the same brush, I'm now going to grab She Insists. I'm going to start packing this on the outer corner and then up. I'm, I'm kind of going for what she did. This is such a pretty color. I love this type of purple. And it's blending into that pinky shade right above it. So pretty. Prettily? I don't know if that's right. I wiped off some of the bronzer from the E36. I'm just going to buff this same shade along the lower lash line. Five on an E55. Placing this on the lid. Kind of tapping it up. I'm going to go a little bit upward with it. Touching up the purple. You kind of have to pack this shade on. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm going back just right around and kind of tapping. Because I don't want to move the eyeshadow too much. E25 and Mint. Placing this on the inner portion of the lid. And then I am going to lightly blend upward. Just taking the excess and bringing it over here. I don't want to have too much, like I don't want it to be too dark on the inner corner. I'm blending it up into this area right here. I like this watercolor effect. I'm just adding in just a little bit more of the blue, kind of merging all these together. MAC 242 in the shade Angel. I'm going to highlight the brow arch. E46 in the shade Like Butter, or it's Butter. <laughs> I want to add a little bit of this right on the front corner of the lower lash line. Kind of blend it into the inner corner. Crushed on a refer number 13. I'm going to finish this look with just a little bit of this right on this outer corner and blending upward. I don't want to add too much because I don't want to take away from like the watercolor type of effect. And I definitely don't want to cover up all of that purple. Then I'm going to add on inner rim liner and mascara, which I have a new mascara, so I'll show you that. 
I just added on Milk Boss Liner to my top inner rim, and now I have two different mascaras to test out. The Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara, and then I have one from Urban Decay that we're going to test out on this side. The wand on this is one of those spiky type of wands, but they're not really long. We'll see. Usually these tend to hurt my under, like my right underneath where I put the Milk Boss Liner. We'll see if this one does or not. So far, no, this is not hurting me. That's one coat, and I haven't even done the back of my lashes. I always go like right on the backs. Uh, yeah, liking this so far. So far, so good. This side is done. Now I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay one on the opposite side. Now this one was sent to me in PR and it's called Lash Freak Freaky Volume Mascara. I love the color of the tube. Anything neon green, like this metallic bright green, really like it. Let's see what the applicator looks like. This is an interesting one. Ah, uh, like you have the little teeth up here. And then there's little teeth on this side, or I guess bristles. It is that plasticky type of comb. I've never seen a comb like this. All right, let's go ahead and apply. This wand is a little tricky. Not like, it's not hard to use, it's just a little strange. I like the shape of it to get on this inner corner. And this brush wand is not hurting my eyes so far either. Here's one coat, I'm gonna go ahead and add more. I do think that the hourglass one is a little bit easier. Okay, so the second coat is going on nicer. But the first coat, with the hourglass, which is a little bit easier to separate my lashes. But now going with the second coat with this Urban Decay one, I feel like it's going better. Adding it to the backs of my lashes is a little tricky just because of the shape of the wand. I decided to add on Milk BCC liner on my inner waterline, and then I added on the corresponding mascara. So now you can see side by side, we have Hourglass over here, and then the Urban Decay on this side. I just realized that I meant to use this palette right here from Nabla, and I forgot to, so I'm sorry. This is the Nabla Miami Lights Glitter Palette. Because I forgot to show you, I'm going to swatch it. Oh, this would have been really pretty. A, I love how this looks like they're suspended in here. With it being clear, it's just really pretty. Let me swatch these. Oh, that is, oh, why didn't I use this? No, no, it's so pretty. Oh, dang it. Why am I picking up the same one? Okay, this one. Oh. Oh, these are so pretty. Let's see, oh, let me put this one and this one on my finger so you guys can see. Oh, and then this blue. I want to put this one or this one, just like, like dab it all over the lid. But I feel like if I do that, it could be a big problem with my mascara. But these would have been so pretty. Why didn't I think about that? I just have to attempt. We're going to see and hopefully not destroy my mascara. I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to look down and use my pinky to just dab a little bit all over. Now I'm picking it up on the E46 so I can get closer to the lash line. Kind of stamping it. Getting on the inner corner. Now we can finish off the face. I'm officially done with the eyes. All right, so this is the Infinity Glam Palette. And if you're familiar with Linda Hallberg Cosmetics and the Infinity Palettes, these are multi-use. You can use them all over the face. And I am thinking this shade right here, which is called Day. I'm gonna take that on my Designer Pro from Sonia G. And I am going to just kind of tap like to bring it just a little further back. I have too much on my brush. 
I knew I grabbed too much. And then blend. Yeah, I feel like this color is more appropriate, like that peachy tone. I'm going to take my Linda Hallberg 306 and this shade right here called Calypso. I'm going to apply that all over right here. Right here. <laughs> Tops of my cheekbones up to my temple area. It's a soft highlight. I'm going to take this on my forehead. Same brush in the shade Dust. I'm going to take this one and pinpoint it to be a little bit more just right on the tippy top of my cheekbone. On my nose and on my chin. And now to buff, I'm going to use the new Hourglass Powder. This is called the Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder. I haven't so much as opened this, so we're going to do this together. I'm excited. I really love Hourglass Powders. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that's... That's completely different than what I had anticipated. I thought it was going to be darker than this. Oh, that heavenly feel of hourglass. Oh, okay. So it's not, it's very thin. Thinner than the, um, the original uh, ambient lighting powders. It doesn't feel the same. I think this is a mixture. Hold on, let me look it up. According to the description, it says it has three times the dimension, three times the perfection, infinite radiance. The first of its kind finishing powder features two ambient lighting powders and an ambient strobe highlighter all in one. Okay. It also says that it's ideal for light to medium skin tones. All right, let's go ahead and put it on. I can't wait. I'm gonna use my Refer bronzer brush. I'm just going to go right in. All right, let's see what this does. It's very light on the skin. Very, very light. I picked up the Divine Rose Lip Trio from Pat McGrath, but I didn't want to use the liner that came with it because it's a little dark, so I went in with Wayne Goss's Vintage Pink. The lip pencil that comes in the trio is Suburbia, and I'm just going to show you this color right here. And then Softcore Lipstick, I am going to put this on. I'm going to swatch it as well. Then I also have the Divine Rose Gloss, and I can't decide if I'm going to use this. Let me swatch it. It looks like that. But I also have the new ones from Natasha Denona, which Natasha Denona actually sent those to me. The Lipophorias. I kind of want to put this nude on, but then I'm like, do I need to? I don't know. I feel like I should probably go with the theme because this is such a bright and pretty look. That finishes off today's look. Now I'm gonna go through each of the products and let you guys know what I think about them. Today was a good day, you guys. I feel like everything looks really nice, but there's a few little things that I wanna point out. So I'm just gonna kinda of try to go in order of how I apply them. So I'm going to start off with the concealer. The Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. First off, I love that you're getting nine mil, so you're getting a nice amount of product. I also love the doe foot applicator and how big it is and the coverage. It's really a nice in-between medium to full. Definitely buildable, but like I said, it's not something that I would build up. I don't like to build up underneath my eyes just because I don't like my under eyes to look cakey. This looks a hair dry now that it's, it's been a little while since it's been on, but it doesn't look crepey or anything like that, and it doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel like this is like the Tarte Shape Tape where you can like feel it almost. <laughs> I think this is a nice one. If you're oily, this is probably going to be a dream come true for you. I'm going to have to continue to wear this and see how it looks at the end of the day, but it's it's looking pretty pretty nice and smooth right now and not heavy. And I think it looks really nice in conjunction with the By Terry Powder. The Hyaluronic Hydra Pressed powder. This feels really nice. I like the way it looks underneath my eyes. I like the way it looks on my skin. I like that it is pressed and it's easier to travel with because this is a powder that I definitely like to, if I was going to blot off some extra oil and then take something to dust on my pores, this is a really, really nice one. So now the fact that it comes in a little compact like this and I can take it with me during the summer and just go like this. I say that and then I think I'm not really going anywhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> but this is a beautiful powder. The brush collaboration with Mary, Glitzy, Fritzy, and Sigma. This is a really great set. I especially like this brush right here. I think this is one of the favorites among like the beauty community actually. E35, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like I've heard this one quite a bit. And then this brush, the E25, I really like those. And this one was a <laughs> this came in handy. It was a little savior for me trying to get right up against my lashes with that glitter. So I really like this as well. The whole set is really nice. So I'm very happy for her. And I will let you guys know when that is restocked. So if you're not following me on IG, make sure you are doing so. Okay, what came next? The bronzers. Okay, formula wise, beautiful, blends into the skin really nicely. It has that skin like effect. However, I don't know what happened with the names. I'm even looking at Soft Revenge. A These names are not good. These are not good names. I don't think this was done with any malice, but I don't think it was very well thought out. So I would personally change the names of these Soft Revenge and Profile. It just kind of, I don't know, but it's not my place to say. I just... I don't particularly like the names of those, but the one that I used on my face today, the shade Dune, it's beautiful. I really like the formula and everything. It's top notch. It's just the names. I'm just like, mm. I'm trying to remember the steps that I took. <laughs> so I didn't get to use both of the products in the Maddie Ziegler Peach That Pops duo but i will tell you that the gloss feels very nice it feels more like kind of like the dior oils or the clarence oil not quite as thick but not it's like in between a gloss and an oil it's really nice it felt very comfortable on the lips it didn't move outside of my lip line which was really nice and it stayed really glossy while i had it so this is pretty and then the eye palette i love this watercolor type of look i just think it's so pretty. I do have to say I had a little bit of issues with the blue, which is number five. It's it's like I kept having to pack it on and it doesn't really want to stay there. <laughs> it's a little dusty. Now the palette in of itself is a little powdery, but I don't mind it. I only care when things don't adhere to the eyes. And that was the shade that was giving me just a little bit of a harder time. It's like it went down, but it didn't stay. But the other colors I felt like went on very nicely. I'll have to update you guys with this. I wanna test out some of the natural shades in here and play with it a little bit more. But first impression is a good one. Again, I really like the effect that I have on my eyes. And then topping it with this Nabla palette, which I have to tell you, this is a pressed glitter palette, so it's not technically eye safe. They're not calling this like an eyeshadow palette or anything. But the colors, I really, I don't think that you're gonna be able to see the true effect of this color. It is incredible. That peachy pink and the green reflex, I, I live for it. And I don't know if you guys caught this, there was no fallout. I didn't have it going into my lashes. I didn't have it falling down my face. This adheres very, very nicely. Like if I take this and I just put it on my hand, like it's not going anywhere. It's not gonna go anywhere. And I love that because it makes using a glitter much, much easier than having to get out your glitter glue or your glitter adhesive. This is just a one step, use your finger or brush and press it into the skin and it works really nicely and I really like the colors in here. But be careful, you do not wanna get this into your actual eye. Yeah, just be careful. And in fact, I'm not even telling you to put it on your eyes. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> now for the mascaras. Hourglass on this side, Urban Decay on this side. Which one did you guys like? Honestly, I don't see a huge difference between the two, but I will say that the hourglass went on just a little bit easier. And there's something really cool about this. Now, I was looking at the box, and it says on here, to remove, splash warm water onto the eyes, use fingers, and gently slide mascara off the lashes. To me, that screams tubing mascara, which is what I usually use on my lower lash line with the MAC Extended Play, and I've never really loved a tubing mascara on my top lashes and I really like this. So I went onto the Hourglass website and it doesn't say that it's a tubing mascara. However, where it says to gently use your fingers to take off the mascara, it says tubes. It says tubes. So I think that this is a tubing mascara and I'm very happy with this. I love the way that it looks. I love how effortlessly it went on and the fact that it will come off in tubes 
I'm assuming because that's what they say. I love that because it'll make it to where I'm just really gentle on my lashes. I'm so particular about how I take off my mascara and being as gentle as I possibly can. So this is a major hit thus far and I really like that I was able to get separation out of my lashes. Now the Urban Decay one, this one right here, there's one thing that I disagree with is that it says that it's volumizing. I don't feel like this is as volumizing as it is lengthening and defining. I really like the way that my lashes look. Like I said, I don't feel like there's a big difference between the two different sides. The brush is a little, it's strange because it's not like anything that I have used before, but I like the front part of it. There's bristles on each side. There's nothing right here, but just right on the tip of it on this side. So I'm able to get right in the front, which I really, really like, and then taking it like this and just going all on the lower lashes. It's really easy. I think I'm just gonna have to get used to the shape of it, but the first time putting it on, I was like, oh, I don't know how this is gonna go. But then going in with the second one, again, I was able to separate my lashes. I feel like they are, neither one is falling, which is one of my biggest pet peeves when my lashes start to fall. So, so far, so good with both of the mascaras. It's just the wand on this one I'm gonna have to get used to. This is another one I'm going to have to update you guys on because I only use three of the shades in here. The Infinity Glam Palette from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. I love this color. I love this color. I love this color. So this went on, blended out very beautifully. And I think this palette with the Divine Rose Eyeshadow Palette from Pat McGrath will be gorgeous. And you can use these on your eyes as well. The two shades I used as highlighters, these are more soft. So if you're somebody who is looking for like that in your face type of highlighter, you can definitely use these wet if you wanted to. But I feel like these are definitely more of like that soft, glow from within. It's not going to add a bunch of texture to your skin. It just looks really nice and kind of ethereal. The palette is beautiful, but again, I will update you guys. The Ambient Lighting Infinity Powder from Hourglass. I'm not over the moon. Like I think it looks really pretty, but to be completely honest with you, I prefer the Hourglass Veil, that loose powder, even to buff. I feel like it looks just a little bit better. This, it might just be today. I'm going to have to keep testing it out, but it looks, it looks radiant, but it kind of looks a little dry on my skin right down here. I noticed that when I got a little closer. So this is something that I'm going to have to continue to play with. It feels very light. It looks pretty, but when I got close, it's just like right here, I felt like it was just a smidgen dry looking, just a smidgen. And that was after I applied this, not before. And then lastly, the lip products that I use from Pat McGrath. I wish the soft core was in the Lux Trans formula because that's just my favorite formula from Pat McGrath. I prefer that one anyway. The gloss though is gorgeous. I love this lip, especially with the eyes. And I really like that formula as well. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did by giving a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Let me know what your favorite product was or one that you didn't like, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.